For reasons we will discuss in a moment, this episode is all about babies. This is episode 67. I'm Soraya. I'm Aurora. And together we're just your average Disney travelers. So before we get started, we want to apologize for any possible potential uh, sound or quality differences because we are recording from different locations today. We are hundreds of miles apart, but together in our hearts. Yeah. (laughs) So... I was I should... fine at the beginning, then, <laughs> then I got to pull in the that... sap. Oh, baby, that's that's who I am. Okay, so do you want to tell them or should I why we're why we're talking about babies? Because you're my baby. Um, no. <laughs> um, I you can, you baby. can say it. I'm a grandma. We have a grandbaby in our family. Aurora is an aunt. Woo! So, uh, yep. so our daughter, Acadia, my daughter, Acadia went into labor a little bit early, much earlier Did than you we just were... say our daughter, our daughter. Well, it's dad. And <laughs> <our> daughter. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> not, that's when I was like, wait a minute, I guess she's not your daughter, your sister, my daughter went into labor, um, had a baby a bit early, not super duper early that we have to be too worried, but it was early enough that we were not ready. <laughs> I was supposed to be coming down in a couple more weeks or up to help them in a couple of weeks. But, um, she, uh, the baby, we can say her name now. Um, Sarah, um, we decided she wanted to make an early entrance. She almost came on grandpa, my dad, dad, your dad, my husband's birthday which would have been super fun oh okay yeah <laughs> right all a little confused there for a second his dad's what who what yeah <laughs> anyways so we have a new baby in the family we're super excited she's adorable of course and um so i am we're not going to take too too long but aurora and i are going to have a quick episode here about babies to celebrate and honor Sersha joining our family this last week. Um, Okay. So we're, we've got a whole bunch of categories. We're going to talk about our just a wide range of babies from the Disney world and it's Disney, Pixar, um, Star Wars, Marvel, Marvel. Star Wars. Yeah. So everybody's up for grabs on this one. Um, Okay. First category, most useful. Who would you say is the most useful baby? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to like push past the biasness. Mm-hmm. Because who do you so want to say? I, I'm trying to look at it logically. Who do you want to say? Grogu, which I'm. I want to say Grogu, which I'm trying to see if that's actually the logical point because he's definitely one of the um up there. I yeah, because he's literally like the entire plot of the show so far because in terms of usefulness like i mean he was literally like i mean useful to the bad guys which again plot Mm -hmm. but then for another character would be like rapunzel because of her hair she was useful for making that you can be immortal like immortal basically yeah which is what mother god was like used her for yeah so do you have an answer so I'm thinking, <laughs> do you have an answer? Yeah, I have my answer. What's your answer then? Well, my answer is Rapunzel for that reason. I mean, there's a lot of them that um, that have some use. Um, but so, for instance, uh, like Jack-Jack has all of those abilities. But I think in our discussion before we started recording, you brought up that he doesn't really have control over those. So how useful is it? Yeah. You know, so there's a little bit of anyway. So yeah. And, and Honestly, like you said about Grogu I think too. I'm going to go with practicality of the gifts and go with Grogu. And the okay. reason being is that 
Um, Rapunzel's hair only does healing, essentially. And it glows. It glows and it heals. Yeah. Um, you have to sing in order to do it. And once her hair is cut off, it doesn't have power anymore. Groku, on the other hand, can heal, also can control things with his mind. And, like, you don't have to sing in order to use them for his powers to work. <laughs> yeah. So, overall, um, I'm going to go with Grogu because not only now that I think about it more powerful, um, he does have control of his powers. So, that's why so that's why he's not like Jack Jack. Like, he does have control of his powers for the most part. Well, sort of. And to where he can use them. And um, there's more stuff he can do than Ripple. And like I said, just it's um, done in more practical ways. Okay. All righty then. Okay, so. Yeah. All right. So similarly, yet not to be confused with the same, <laughs> who would you say is the most talented baby then? Being talented and being useful are two completely different things. They can be. They can be. So who would you say is the most talented? I'm going to say when it comes, hmm, then again, uh, I was going to say Rapunzel because of her art, but that's not when she was a baby. That was when she was um, grown up. Yeah, her art. Yeah. Yeah. So then I'm going to go Jack Jack. Jack Jack. That's who I have too, just because he has such yeah. a wide range of things that he can do. Granted, like I you think said, the amount of powers he has is 17. 17? Wow. I didn't mm-hmm. know that there was a list. Yeah. That's I'm pretty sure. Next category most annoying yeah, baby. What's that? <laughs> oh, were Pegasus. you Pegasus? Oh, m- most annoying is Pegan- Pegasus? Mm hmm. I had a different answer. Obnoxious. Obnoxious. What is it? Cusco. Because <laughs> Cusco is I just a whiny, true. whiny baby. I mean, well, to be fair, all babies. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but they're <laughs> only like the ways of communication is laughter, crying, and they also have no sense of people around them. Well, that all they is think true. About is what they want. That's true. But <laughs> Cusco, he just portray. He just grows up to keep. He just keeps that personality well, when, they, when he even, grows up. Even when they show Cusco when he's the baby, you know, he's like, "Wah!" And then like, there's his favorite dozen- toy broke. Well, that's true. His favorite toy broke. He's gonna cry, and then they, because he's just royal, everyone just naturally. He just naturally just like. Are you trying to change my like, mind? Like 12 replacements. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well. I'm, I'm just pointing out. I'm, I'm just, just you're mentioning You're defending things. Cusco? For you the- still, no, I'm just. I'm, I'm, it, it's completely fine and very reasonable if you, he's the most annoying. So let's see. So most annoying you say Pegasus and I say Cusco. Yes. All right. Funniest baby. Group. That's who I put too. He cracks me up. Yeah, I had to look down the list. Just because, like, when, especially when he won't dance in front of Drax. (laughs) Drax. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, oh, it's just so funny. I want to know why. I do. I know. It's just, it just makes me laugh. And I don't know. And that might, he might not even be the funniest baby, but. I just always think that he's hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, baby group, which is probably more accurately as toddler group, but yeah. by name, yeah. baby group, it's pretty dang funny. Yeah. Yep, so. yeah. Okay. We agree on that one. All right. What about cutest baby? Who do you have? Because mm. I'm going to be honest. I didn't put one down yet because I still just can't decide. They There's... Almost all of them would make the list for me. Not all of them, but almost. So what do you think? Okay, either Dory. Who's adorable. Or Grogu. She's, a, she's adorable. Oh, Groku. Yes, Groku is also cute. So who is your favorite baby? Wait, you never said anything. I did. I said, oh, no, I didn't. I said that I couldn't choose. You, no, you're saying that. 
There's so many. Okay, I don't well, know. Let me think. Okay. All right. If I have to pick You got to choose one. I have to pick one. Or at least two. Golly. Wait. You got to, at minimum, you got to choose two. Or would that be maximum? Minimum, at maximum. Be maximum. <laughs> minimum would be one. <laughs> maximum would be two. A maximum. <laughs> um, all right. If I have to pick two... Or if I have most, if I have to preferably one, if I have to narrow it down to two, did I even choose one? I no, I was still listing or Grogu. Grogu, yeah, I I wasn't like that wasn't my final answer. Oh, sorry, I was still thinking. What was your final answer? I never decide because I was thinking. All right, well, I'm gonna narrow it Um, down by preference. Yeah, just your I guess cute, just from, your cutest. Okay, from your my cutest. Pro- yeah. Grogu. Okay. So you pick Grogu. All right. I'm gonna narrow mine down to either I'm gonna say it's between Moana and Rapunzel. Okay. For cutest. But honestly, I think they all are. I think that Lady is cute, and I think Dory is cute, and they're all cute. So all right. So now who is your favorite baby? Grogu. <laughs> That's not clear already. Okay. I'm going to put in a second. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put Dory. I love her. I love, love, love her. She's adorable. Okay. All right. So what about best baby song? It's, I don't know how many baby songs are out well, there. I'm pretty sure there's like only one. I guess it depends on. Unless you're you talking. Unless. Because I mean, I guess you can consider. Like, I guess, or would you consider, like, soundtrack? Like, not, like, a singing song, but, like, a soundtrack, like... Like the like theme. theme song? You could. Yeah. You maybe, I guess. Because I know... That. Okay. I don't think Riley has really a theme song, but the song that plays when, when she's, she's, like, happy. born or, like, around that is called Joy, and I actually really loved that theme okay. for a while, and I still do, just not nearly as much sure. as I did back then. It's- I'm going to go with that one. Riley. That's Specifically a good one. because of the song. Or is it like Bundle of Joy? I think it's Bundle of Joy. Okay. So, the, but the song That's when the she the shows, song. they show Riley as the baby in Inside Out. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, I had a hard time thinking That's of, fun. I had a hard time thinking of different songs that were baby songs, but the one that was obvious to me that stood out, that was obviously a baby song was the baby mine from Dumbo, which I, I don't know if I should say it's my favorite. Oh. Literally, it makes me cry every time. Because <laughs> it's just so sad. Is it a good cry or a bad cry? Oh, it's so sad because the she see, the song is being sung when he goes to see his mom who's been locked up. See, I'm going to start crying over it right now. So when... Well, then don't think about it. Think about group. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, when Dumbo goes to see his mom when he's locked up and all they can do is touch trunks and she kind of cradles him in her trunk and they it plays Baby Mine. And then it has like a bunch of moms with their babies, I think, like through the circus. And anyways, but it's it's kind of... It's a sweet song, but it's also a sad don't, song. Don't start crying. I'm not going to start crying. But anyways... It's kind of hard to tell through the camera. <laughs> i'm not crying okay but that's the one i put down but i like your answer better actually but i can't think of it in my head right now that theme okay so let's move on best baby sidekick i need clarification for this is this like a practicality sort of question (laughs) or it's it's objective so whatever we all know what my preference would be you know i'll do both one for practicality and one for preference okay do that so obviously preference i'm gonna choose grogu um because um he's amazing so cality i gotta think about this do you count him as a sidekick is he considered a sidekick oh hey i just understood this question completely (laughs) i think i sorry i was thinking which would you like, would oh, which one best? would you want to have as a sidekick? Oh, yeah. that's another one. Okay, so that's another question we could say. Who would who would you want? Okay, to be well, <laughs> okay. So let's first do. Okay. Do you want to do okay the original question first? Then. Yeah. Okay. Best baby sidekick. Who's a sidekick? Would group be a sidekick? 
It's not really a sidekick. He's a main character. Well, He's I'm one of the main about. characters. Um, I can tell you who I had. Yeah. I put down Pegasus. Pegasus? Pegasus. I put Pegasus because Pegasus is That's the only is sidekick. Now, I, I thought of a few others, though. Like, I thought of, like, for instance, you could say Rapunzel's sidekick is um, Pascal. Although, I don't know if she... That's not your desk. Not a it no the sidekick doesn't have to be never a baby. seen Pascal as a baby. No, no, no. The what? sidekick doesn't have to be a baby. It's which baby, which sidekick to the baby, like who's which baby's sidekick is your favorite? What or is the best? What baby sidekick is the best? <laughs> and with that, I'm going with Pegasus. That's what I said. Except that I said okay. it because I think Pegasus is a sidekick. It didn't matter that it's a baby. Pegasus is a sidekick. Yes, but well, I would. But it wouldn't have mattered if it was a birth. Baby. He, Pegasus was literally born to be a sidekick. I'm not arguing. <laughs> I agree. literally created for that. I agreed, but I'm what I'm clarifying either. is that the I know, I know, I'm backing you up. Oh, okay, awesome. Now you had another answer way of interpreting okay. this so which baby which, should be the best sidekick yeah would be okay best sidekick so who's your pick okay again preference grogu i'm trying to think if there's gonna be if there's another one that would be better for practical no okay just grogu grogu huh yeah grogu yeah uh, i mean grogu. i can't think of any others that would be as I think Grogu probably is the best sidekick. Maybe Rapunzel. Yeah. Because she could heal. So can Grogu. I said that so weirdly. <laughs> Grogu. That's true. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think Andy Grogu makes things one. float. Yeah. He needs the force. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now let's move on to best baby in the parks. Like which what baby represented in the parks so it could be a character that you meet or see somehow or is in a um, show or a ride or a, or a parade or has well, an attraction it, they don't have to be it's not like when they're a baby though obviously because they don't ever show anyone the only one they would show is either jack jack or grogu so if we're going to go by they're still currently a baby, then those are the only, only two yeah. options. But if it's someone from this list, then that's a whole nother story. So which well, one? This list, it's this is this list that we just kind of made for ourselves to remind us who are babies. It's not necessarily that things have to be on this list. But um okay, okay well <laughs> I had I thought the clear answer is Jack Jack because the Incredicoaster ride. I guess that's true, no matter what. Um, he's also in parades on floats and stuff, I think. But um, I thought that immediately, because everybody else is not portrayed as a baby anymore once you get them in the parks. Even, like, Dory is not a baby when you, you see Dory uh, in the parks. And um, is just not in the parks. Yeah. And, like, Simba... Merchandise. Simba is that's the like, full grown yeah. Simba, not the baby Simba. And Lady and the Tramp Lady is the, the dog, not the puppy, you know. So, like, they really don't. Yeah. Jack Jack. Except for the... Dumbo. There's, of course, Dumbo. Dumbo, um, I would assume it's still when he's it's a portrayed baby. as a. Well, yeah, because he, is they he only really show him a baby line... in the movies. Yeah. He's baby elephant. And I always thought he was like more like a. He's oh, right, as much a baby oh, as Simba Avis. is a baby, even yeah. though Simba acts like he's five or six. So anyways, I would say it would probably, those are the only two I could really think of would be Dumbo um, and, I'm and saying Jack, Jack Jack. But yeah, I think so too. I think Jack Jack, although Dumbo is so classic and it's in both Disney World and Disneyland. And so I don't know. Now I'm convincing myself that Dumbo is the best one represented in the parks. But Jack Jack is super fun okay last question best ride for babies yeah. in the park wait does it have to be disneyland no it could be disneyland disney world whatever oh the the river ride in pandora oh yeah the navi river boat river. ride yeah, Nova- uh, the, yeah that 
Navi. It's calm. It's peaceful. It's like very colorful. Lots of things to see, but it's also kind of a bit more, kind of a bit more darker. And as peaceful. It does have it has like dips. No, does it have any dips? dips? Nope, nope. It's just just straight up floating. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. I didn't think of that one. I was torn between "It's a Small World" and "Winnie the Pooh." You see, I my first thought was "A Small World" because boat, but then I was like, "Well, it maybe is too loud for them." (laughs) Well, I like I think that babies love to see other babies, and with all of those animatronic or the little dolls, um, I think that babies love that. Would love that. I guess that's true. I don't know anything well, about these or what they want. So. <laughs> and I also think Winnie the Pooh is just so colorful and the music and everything. It's just a fun one. So. See, I went for a calm, peaceful, let them sleep route. And you went for let's make them happy. <laughs> <route. laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to put the baby to sleep with the Navi River journey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that about does it for our baby episode. We're excited to have a new baby in our family. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening. And we will chat with you next week. See you.